Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of the Nat Daddy Weekly Roundup, where we go over uh, some of the more interesting books I think have come out this week, review them. Uh, not a huge pile this week, a little bit on the smaller side in that, but still got quite a few uh, good ones to go through, so we'll jump into those right away. Uh, before we even jump into our um, normal run of the show where we do sponsors and that, I'd like to say a uh, happy birthday out there to my dad. It's my dad's birthday today, so happy birthday to our Harold. Uh, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he turned 70 today, so that's pretty awesome. So happy birthday there, Dad. I know you always watch the show and that, and uh, yeah, enjoy it. Otherwise, let's get back to our regular stuff here. Uh, we always start off the show with uh, people who help make the show a bit more uh, possible. We got our guys over at 204 Comics. That's our local comic book store where we get all our books and that, where we pre-order all our stuff. That's where we uh, mention those guys when we do our FOC videos. Again, FOC videos are awesome. You guys order them in advance. You don't have to worry about if you're going to get them or not. Most of the time. Also, we have Primo's Wrestling from Winnipeg as well. We love working with those guys as well, too. Wrestling is a uh, been a big fan of my whole life. Uh, just before the show started tonight, like literally just before the show started, found out that wrestling superstar, um, the fiend, Bray Wyatt, has passed away at 36 years old. So that's kind of crazy. That's throwing me for a loop. And that's only a day after we found out yesterday, wrestling legend, uh, Terry Funk, has passed away as well, too. So... Thoughts and prayers go out to both of those families as well. Um, yeah, that's too bad, unfortunately. Uh, with the Primo stuff there, they have the Tag Team Champions, the Toxic Juggernauts, and we also have Mentalo uh, performing again at the Pyramid on October the 1st. Um, that first short period was so amazing, we decided to use those venues again in that. So we have flipping the Script coming in. They're bringing in uh, wrestling indie superstar Flip Gordon, this guy's pretty amazing, so I hope you guys have seen some of the videos they've posted about him. It's going to be a great show, Mental versus Flip Gordon. Um, do come check it out. All ages show, and uh, also against to a license as well, too. So lots of fun there. Awesome venue. The way it's set up in there is um, pretty cool. It's not like you're just going to a gym show or anything like that. It's a pretty neat venue. It's um, has a lot of character, that's for sure. All right. Let's jump into some books. Oh, I always forget to uh, give ourselves credit here, too. So we should show what we like to have our, on our website as well. So go check out the Knack Daddy Collectibles uh, website. Of course, we have all our um, exclusives there for sale. And uh, again, with those wrestling guys, the Primo's guys, some of them have their wrestling merch up there as well. So check that out as well, too. And I always forget to say this. But we need everybody to, uh, who is a member on the Facebook channel here to go over to YouTube and be a member there as well, too, because we need to get that YouTube membership up so I can broadcast live on there as well, too. Because I love doing um, live interviews with you guys for you know, the comic stuff and that. And also, uh, I love streaming all those wrestling events as well, too. So if you do have a moment, please jump over to uh, Facebook instagram and the youtube and you know become that daddy members all right enough pandering let's jump into some books like i said a little bit of a smaller week here and that but uh some pretty cool stuff here first one is the amazing spider-man 32 uh, a lot of people have uh have mixed feelings about this run you no know, up and down in that um but this one's been pretty cool starting so far we have uh, Craven working with the Goblin Queen there. Is it Queen Goblin or Goblin Queen? Either one, they're working together. And he has removed all the Goblin sins from her and has stored them into like this uh, kind of Spear of Destiny type of thing. And um, he wants to uh, reinfest uh, Norman Osborn with all these Goblin sins and that to become the Green Goblin again so he can take out the Green Goblin, the, you know, he's a, the greatest hunt of all type of thing. Um, it doesn't actually turn out that way. Kind of a really twisted um, end to here is somebody else ends up getting it that shouldn't be get these goblin sins in that. And it's going to jump off this whole new goblin arc in that. So uh, pretty neat there as well. So definitely looking forward to keep reading this. And uh, again, pleasantly surprised. I liked it. All right. 
World of Betty and Veronica Jumbo Comics. Again, this is a, one of those mini double digests there, but this big type of thing. Um, the reason I keep putting these up here is because every um, new digest that they come out every month, um, they keep throwing in a couple of new brand stories of the uh, the Archie superheroes there. This month they have one with Captain Valor, you know, Little Veronica and Little Betty, and then they have uh, one with um, – uh, Betty is very curious about the secret identity of Ghost Fox and that. So her, I guess, her and Veronica are going to try to dive more into his secret identity. So uh, definitely, um, like I said, I, I think they're building up these uh, Archie superhero things and eventually going to blend them all together and that. So if you're not jumping on these, go for it, because I think they could definitely be uh, worth more later on. And if not, they're just fun reads for all people. From Marvel, we have the Immortal Thor, number one here, at the beginning of a new series here by th um, uh, about Thor. This one here, uh, written by Al Ewing, so it's going to have all these big cosmic uh, you know, uh, uh, events and that going on here, proportions. Uh, good start here so far. They've kind of brought Thor back to his original look here, so very, very classic looking. They're very, very extremely powerful as well, too. Um, kind of fun start off here as well. They do um, introduce a brand new villain here um, who seems to become like a, almost like a, a, a negative ultra saw, um, ultra super version of Thor's powers and that. Um, but kind of like a giant frost giant looking thing as well too. So great artwork in here as well. So if you're a Thor fan, you're probably going to like this. Um, if you're not a Thor fan, I, I don't think it's going to you know, bring you to it or anything like that. Um, but we'll see how it goes. That's just the first issue. And um, these books are all going to have these amazing um, Alex Ross covers. From Antarctic Press, we have Mary Machine Gun. Uh, neat little book here. Uh, Mary is a nun, one of the Knights of Templar. And she, uh, the church sends her out on missions to deal with the supernatural things like werewolves and... Uh, vampires and things of that nature, the undead, and she's been banished and sent to this little town, um, and the church and the people there are all very corrupt, and she's dealing with, um, it seems to be like a vampire, or sorry, not a vampire, a werewolf outbreak, um, and she's like this super sexy but deadly assassin, and I think that pretty much covers it, <laughs> not for kids. <laughs> From CEX, we have Mother Russia. Um, I, this is issue number one, and they're making a big deal about it, like it's the first appearance or something like that. But um, it's not. There was a, a one-shot earlier this year called Mother Russia. I think it was called Winter Special or something like that. And it's uh, it tells the exact same thing. I don't know if it's actually redrawn in that because I didn't go back and check, but it's very, very familiar. It might be just even reprinted of it. Um, so I guess this is maybe going to be the the beginning of an ongoing series of it. I'm not too sure, but a great book so far. Uh, it's kind of like the zombie apocalypse has happened, but it's a, and the Nazis, World War II type of thing. And you have this uh, woman sniper, and she uh, rescues a, a child during all this as well, too. So it's a good book. I enjoyed it. It's just a little weird that this, they say this is number one, but they do. They still acknowledge the other one. And it's basically their retelling or whole basic reprint. So. From the dawn of DC, we have Penguin, uh, Revenge of the Birds. This is a, a new story starting off where, I don't even know if it's going to be a crossover event or not, but definitely an event happening in Batman where uh, Penguin, after issues 125, 26, 127, where um, they believed uh, Penguin was dead, he actually survived, and he's been living the last little while in Metropolis, just kind of under a, um, a new assumed identity. He's given up being the Penguin in that, kind of living a normal life. Um, Amanda Waller ends up kind of tracking him down, sends an agent of hers after him to uh, arrest him, bring him in and that, and uh, coerce him to become like a double agent back in um, Gotham and be kind of uh, like a information, a, a snitch on the underground that um, he does go back in that, whether he's going to do it in that for not for her, we'll see in that. Um, but this plays out really great. Um, it just kind of shows that even though he's just a regular person 
little fat dude with umbrellas and that, but how vicious and how terrible and evil he can be and how people are still afraid of him, even though he just walks around like a very unassuming old um, you know, fat man type of thing. So uh, great start so far. I believe this is written by Tom Kang. From Image, from Ryan Stegman, who usually does amazing artwork, but he's doing the writing this time. We have the schlub. Um, I know we mentioned this a little bit earlier on the preview video yesterday, and we had like, somebody comment they're interested about this. Um, it's a good book. Like I said, we did review the uh, Ash Can a few weeks ago, so I did a little preview on it. And it still lives up pretty good. Really like the art in here. It's like you see on the cover here. Very, very colorful. Um, you know, comic book like, but still very realistic at the same time. And it's about this kind of this schlub dude, which you see on the bottom there. He's this uh, loser dentist guy who has a really crappy life. Um, it's not that he's ever done anything wrong, he's just never done anything right. And uh, his life is basically falling apart. And he lives in a world where there's a lot of superhero activity going on, and a big superhero fight uh, is going on in the city, and it happens to. Um, roll over and spill into his office and that. And during the fight, him and the hero end up getting a body swap. And so we got some big comedy stuff going like that. So uh, they have to deal with that and uh, kind of a Freaky Friday thing going on with this like this schlubby loser type guy and uh, the world's most powerful hero. So we'll see where it goes from there. Pretty funny so far. And like I said, um, really good artwork. Lots of great color. That's one thing I noticed this week with the books that I did read. Was a, uh, was a lot of great artwork. All right, what else we got here? Unleashed. From Marvel, we have Unleashed, uh, like being, being a, a limited series, sorry, unlimited series, I said. And again, great artwork in here as well, too. I was quite surprised, actually, how great the artwork is. And uh, we have a super pet story, but then with the Marvel superhero pets, um, starts off Craven is uh, hunting down Lockjaw, and he does capture him in that. And um, you know, like that kind of ties in afterwards. Uh, but the rest of the story is that there's a uh, pizza, the, no, I always say his name, pizza, the lucky dog. Lucky the pizza dog, who is the, the pet to Hawkeye, ends up uh, meeting, um, uh, D Dog, who's a new character, it's this uh, female German Shepherd, finds a mask and is kind of model herself after uh, D Man, Demolition Man. And uh, they get Red Wing in there. At the end of the story, we end up getting Throg thrown in there, but it hasn't happened yet. We got um, Chewy, which is like the alien cat, the Flark thing or whatever it is from Captain Marvel. Um, yeah, all working together to uh, solve this kind of mystery about this person being. Uh, kidnapping missing and ends up being an agent for aim and that so great actually really good story uh, great book so far uh, it's neat seeing um, almost done a little bit in style of what stray dogs was if anyone read any of the stray dog series so kind of neat there kind of has that dog perspective mixed in with real people stuff as well so um, good book for young and old so this is almost my my pick of the week but I was quite surprised so great artwork and a great story as well too All right, I think that might be it, guys. Like I said, it was a bit of a... Oh, no, I still got a couple more here. Uh, this one here, I guess I missed it up there. Let's switch over here. Uh, we got one here called Beast of Bowler Boulevard. And again, this is from uh, American Mythology Productions. And this is kind of funny here. And again, great color and artwork on this one as well, too. You have this uh, ski resort town that there was an avalanche near there and uh, uh, nobody can get a hold of anybody there. So the, uh, this ranger guy goes out there with his uh, girlfriend and her uh, kid. Uh, it's all dysfunctional family-wise in there and that. And they pull in there and the whole town has been under attack by this, uh, turns out to be this giant monster and it's this, this giant robot dinosaur. So as silly as that sounds, they make it sound like this horrifying giant you know, kaiju monsters attacking. And just at the very end, you find out it's a this robot mecha dinosaur type of thing. So um, silly type of monster, but it looks really cool. Um, it's a great artwork in that. And uh, gory kind of 
um, a space invader, giant monster invading a town fun. All right, so like I said, it was a little bit of a quieter week in that for books and that, but uh, I do have a couple of things I would like to show you guys um, that did come in the mail this week. That was kind of neat. Uh, a couple of original blank covers that I sent down to uh, Carl Waller or down in the States there, guy that's always on the tag show. I'm sure he's going to be coming in the upcoming season too. And I had this blank um, boom 25th anniversary Buffy the Vampires there. So he drew this really cool Buffy on there. Amazing ink work that Carl always does. Carl G. Waller, you can see him on Instagram. And I also got this from Dynamite. This is Immortal Red Sonya there. So yeah, Red Sonya with a uh, dripping blood sword and some kind of uh, monster head behind her. It's probably an orc or a troll or something. So pretty cool book there. Also, uh, like I said, we got tickets for the, the event, the wrestling coming up that. So if you are interested in going, reach out to me. I got some tickets. We'd love to hook you up there um, because I think it might be tickets by the time it comes to the door. They won't have too many at the door when it comes to the day of, but we'll see. Also, speaking of before that, we have coming up on, I believe it's Sunday, September 17th at the Norwood Hotel in Winnipeg. So that's my area of town here. It is the Winnipeg Collectible and Unique Gifts Show. So it's $5 to get in. To kids 12 and under free. You can scan the uh, card or the code there to get some more information there. And I believe it's from 10 to 5. So that's going to be cool there. And they have video games, comic books, art, antiques, vinyl, collectible cards, Hot Wheels, action figures, die-cast cards, toys, wrestling, movies, photos, crafts, sports cards, and jerseys. So anything that's basically collectible, they're going to have that there too. And also, I have here as well too, if anyone reaches out to me, I happen to have a few of these two-for-one coupons. So basically, it's buy one, take it, get one free. So if anybody reaches out to me in the comments below, the first, you got two tickets here. So people, the first two people that reach out for me can get one each. That's for free. The Primo's wrestling tickets are not for free. <laughs> All right, everybody. So we'll see you later on in that. I'm uh, going to have a FOC video most likely tomorrow. If not a video for it, we'll definitely uh, post up what the FOC is in that. So what Marvel, DC, books, blah, 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 are all up on order this week. And uh, I might even get an omnibus review up there too. So still have this uh, Ninja Turtles. Ninja Turtles, Batman, Omnibus, I want to review. So I might even do that right away. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, I'll definitely check that out in the near future. Otherwise, like I said, please do jump over to the other social platforms, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, and sign up for Mad Daddy. Appreciate that. And in other words, see you next time. Peace out.